Hey guys, this is G. David Cooper, your Sequential Samurai, and I'm coming to you today from my new studio office here at 1330A Fork Shoals Road in Greenville, South Carolina. Um, man, I know it's been like five or six months since I've posted anything, and you know, I went to Comic Con and then just kind of fell off the map. But so much has been going on, I really haven't had a chance to sit down and make a YouTube video and share with everybody what's been happening. Um, I do want to continue here with the Chronicles of the Sequential Samurai. I want y'all to uh, continue to see how things are going for me. Um, I'm getting ready to celebrate here in just a few weeks. I'm going to be celebrating one year uh, self-employed here at the studio. And uh, things have gone really well. I can't complain about it at all. Um, I'm going to take you on a real brief tour here of the, uh, the, the new Samurai studio. It's still kind of office looking. Uh, I'm about to replace this desk. I'm going to put me a... Um, uh, an art table in here and you know just uh, real quick browse around you know it's um, it's not huge but it's mine and it gives me the opportunity to uh, get away from home and work and do my thing and, and enjoy being a, a graphic artist a, a sequential artist and all the things that I love to do uh, speaking of sequential art, um, I am in the process of working on Cannonball's Run issue number two. Everybody who supported me on my Kickstarter for Cannonball's Run issue one, I greatly appreciate your support. That was fantastic. Uh, the Kickstarter campaign was a huge success. The comic book was published, uh, no problems whatsoever. I'm getting ready to start negotiations with a, uh, a comic book company. I don't want to give the name right now because things are still kind of in the air. They might be picking up the uh, Cannonball's Run comic book. And we'll just kind of see how that goes. You know, if, if they don't pick it up, they do offer an opportunity to, um, to publish my book under my own label and be a part of their distribution network. Uh, the only difference is that I would actually have to pay for the publication out of my own pocket instead of them paying for it and having their name and their label on it. But we'll just kind of see how that goes. Um, I'm not really overly concerned about that. I know that when the uh, Cannonball's Run story gets off the ground, it's just going to take off. It's going to be huge. Um, Lots been going on. Uh, like I said, you haven't really heard from me since Comic Con. Uh, Comic Con was amazing. As a matter of fact, I was actually kind of overwhelmed by Comic Con. Um, to be truthful, uh, I had a lot of anxiety about going. You know, I was uh, frightened. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know who I was going to meet. I didn't know what I was going to do when I got there. I was supposed to be going with Melissa Lee Ellen from uh, Deadly Crimson Creative Global, and uh, it didn't work out for her to go, so I ended up having to go by myself. And so here I am, I'm at Comic-Con, I got my professional badge, I have no idea what I'm doing, never been there before. So it was kind of a um, frightening and yet illuminating experience. I did get invited to come back, which I'm really surprised about, but um, they have taken a special interest in my Cannonball's Run. They want me to uh, headline Cannonball's Run in this coming year, and since, um, you know, since that's my baby, I'm more than happy to do that. Um, I've met a lot of people made contact with a lot of publishers, met a lot of people in the industry, um, made some new friends. So it was it was a success. I really enjoyed myself uh, once I got there and got settled in and actually got to investigate, you know, the world of Comic-Con. Not like any other convention I've ever been to. Far, far, far greater, far huger. I think the only one that even comes close to it is uh, Dragon Con, which I've done. And uh, Megacon probably would be the next largest, but Megacon as huge as it is, doesn't really even compare to Comic-Con. Comic-Con was ridiculous. But uh, met some incredible people. Tom Bilyeu, uh, motivational, powerful man. Um, I've watched him on YouTube a number of times, so I got to meet him face-to-face, -face, got to discuss comic books with him, talk about ambition, motivation, talk about dreams. You know, very inspiring person to get to know. Um, so everything's going well. This year, uh, well, let me, let me finish up. Uh, 2018 was an amazing year for me. Got to do several comic books for different people, different companies. Uh, I got to do other art projects, a lot of logo design, graphic design, stuff like that. Uh, so uh, I survived. I survived my first year as a 100% uh, self-employed sequential samurai studio. Um, you know, so that's something to celebrate. I did a children's book in the uh, the last half of the year I was hired by a publishing company well by a, uh, a health company to uh, do a health conscious children's book for them I didn't write the book but I did all the artwork for the book it was a huge success got paid for that always good to get paid 
Um, and that kind of helped us out through the end of the year. And that was a, a great uh, opportunity for me. This year started out real smooth. Um, I had projects from December that just flowed right into January. New projects cropped up in January. And then um, just yesterday, I, you know, made an agreement for one of the largest contracts I have ever, I've ever done. I, I mean, I'm going to tell you the size of my contracts, but, you know, they've been enough to live on. Uh, this contract is probably the equivalent of half of what I made in my entirety of last year. So, you know, basically this month alone, I will have covered about six months of what I made last year. So I'm pretty excited about that. I can't tell you. I'm looking for a lot more contracts like that. I believe that they're going to come. Uh, the more I get out into the industry, the more I get out into the business, the more people get to know who I am. Uh, the more art I get to do. And that's what I'm here for, man. I'm an artist. You know, I'm, I'm here to, to draw, to paint, to do whatever artists do and let that be my bread and butter. Let that be what I do because that's what I love. So anyhow, I'm not going to keep you. I just wanted to kind of touch base and say hello again and let you know that uh, things are looking good for the samurai right now. Um, this year is going to be amazing. I've got a feeling that we're going to see some samurai uh, books out in the marketplace, in the retail market. So maybe you'll see uh, Cannonball's Run in your local comic book store. Maybe you'll see Deadly Crimson. Um, I don't know. We'll just have to see what 2019 holds for us. But until next time, this is G. David Cooper, your Squinchel Samurai, and uh, I'll talk to you later.